Aqua friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole Cordemarche and today I have a beginner's level sunset for you. This is a three-step process so this will be pretty easy. The colors that I used were Indian Yellow, Iso Yellow Deep, Transparent Pyral Orange, Scarlet Lake, Sepia, and Neutral Tint. The first step is the wet on wet background. So we're going to wet our paper really well with just clean water and then with our lightest colors we're going to start the sunset. So I'm starting off with my Indian Yellow and my Iso Yellow and then I'm coming in with my Pyral Orange. And I'm just following my reference photo and there is a very light area in that uh, middle horizon line that I'm uh, leaving blank. I'm just leaving the white of the paper so that it looks really bright there. Coming in with the Scarlet Lake and getting in those reds. Now I mixed a little bit of my Scarlet Lake with some neutral tint to get some of the darkest colors that are in the reference photo. We're going to let that whole thing dry and our second step is to repeat our first step. So I want to have a very brilliant sunset and as we know watercolor always dries lighter and you lose that vibrancy when it dries. So to get a nice vibrant painting you do want to do a couple of layers of your nice bright colors. So I'm using the exact same colors and I'm going in and painting it the exact same way. If you do lose that white of your paper, you can mop it up like I did with a piece of paper towel. Now as the paper's drying, I'm using a very dry brush with a little bit of neutral tint and sepia and I'm putting in the reflection of where the tree is going to go. Now I drew my tree out in advance on my paper so I have guidelines to follow. I suggest that you do the same. Uh, when you have a reference photo and you have your sketch in place, um, you're setting yourself up for a very successful painting. So I'm just following uh, my light lines that you can see from the sketch and with a double zero brush, this is a very fine tip brush, I am drawing in this cute little tree. So this is our third step really, this is wet on dry watercolor technique. We get a very nice looking tree along with the reflection in the water. So as you can see, this is a very simple painting. It's a lot of fun, uh, very low stress. This is a half hour project, not including drying time. The more branches that you add and the more details that you add, your tree will look uh, pretty realistic. Thank you so much guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you next week.